Oh, by the way. Yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Nope. Issa Rae is everywhere these days. Season three of her hit series on HBO, Insecure, her first Emmy nomination, magazine covers, talk shows, red carpets. So how did she get here? We're about to find out. Thank you so Likewise, much for doing this. The reunion, are you kidding me? This is be like <laughs> one of my first interviews ever. I will always remain loyal. Please welcome Issa Rae. Do you have a morning routine? Do you get up, do you meditate, drink green juice, all that stuff people in LA do? That's so rude, Katie. Um, no. Well, when I'm not shooting, my morning routine is, you know, wake up. I like to walk. I don't like to exercise. I'm a stereotypical black woman. <laughs> And that's terrible. But I don't I don't like the act of it. But walking, you feel walking like... Walking, I love. I just like the serene, like to be able to gather my thoughts all day. And it's where I feel my most creative. What is your typical day like in L.A.? When I'm filming the show, I don't have much of a life. It's really getting up, reviewing my lines in the hair and makeup trailer, making sure that if we have a new set for the day that it's properly set, decorated. When you see the finished product, you must feel like, and wow. I'm happy. So, Issa, I wanted to let people know a little bit about your childhood. You all moved around a lot when you were little. This influenced how you felt about sort of your identity in a way, didn't it? You're always reinventing it. You're always trying to accommodate your surroundings. You're just trying to fit in. Like for me, I just never, I hated to be the standout person. And you were able to take these moments of feeling awkward or insecure <laughs> and channel them into what you do for a living. Which is incredible. You feel alone. You feel like, am I the only one that goes through this? And then you realize you're not. And I think I, what I love about those moments is that they unite us all. I guess I'll see you around. Hi, right. I'll see you. I'm not right. Okay, bye. bye. Storm Diaries was the first web series I ever did at Stanford. That's when you learn I have the drive, I have the creativity, and I've got the internet. I've got the internet, and the internet has changed everything. Why am I awkward? Oh, okay. Where did you get the idea for Awkward Black Girl? Just from your own life, right? <laughs> Coming out of <laughs> your mouth to saying that to me sounds so sad. Just because you had a tragic, awkward life, right? <laughs> yes. I mean, I was writing in my journal and was thinking, why am I so antisocial? Why do I get easily embarrassed? And came up with two incomplete sentences, I'm awkward, period, and black. And that was like the genesis of Awkward Black Girl. Her internet following gave her the confidence she was on the right track. HBO thought so too, and green-lighted the show Insecure. The show has been called revolutionary, which is sort of shocking in 2018, <laughs> isn't it? I mean, I, it's a compliment, but it's also just like, why is this revolutionary? In examining the industry, it's that. You've been partially responsible for redefining what blackness is, right? I mean, was that your goal going in? I did want to just have a new archetype, like one that I identified with, because there, there were a bunch of stereotypes. As for me, it was just about putting something in the world that I, I could relate to. Lisa, what's on fleek? I don't know what that means. So was it hard to kind of stick to your guns? It would have been hard had I not had the validation of the internet to be like, we like it as is, and we support this show. But this was so precious to me, I didn't want to sell out, and it just, it, it wasn't worth it. Do you feel like things are changing though, Issa? Yeah, and they're seeing that there's a need and there's a want, and that we do support. Like, we're holding on. We're like, we can't let this be just an isolated moment. We have to make sure that this continues. And, I, and, and that's what feels so powerful and different about this moment in time. A lot of the attention on the show was based on your relationship with Lawrence. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised that people went crazy over that relationship? <laughs> Beyond surprised. It also made me realize how much we lacked seeing like a regular black relationship on television. I don't want to just sit on the couch with you for the rest of my life and, and wait for something to happen. What is your advice for women who want to get there? 
to work with other women who want to get there, who are in lanes that complement you. That's been central for me, is just finding dope women who are good at what they do, who are committed, and who want to grow with you. I hope there are a lot of young African-American women who are watching this, who are inspired by you. And what would you say to them? I'm looking to you to carry the torch. And, you know, I hope I make you proud, but I hope that you open the doors for people to, if you're not paying it for it, then it's just, it's selfish and it's all for you. Then what's the point? Thank you so much for spending time talking to me. And Katie, you're the best.